In this celebration of the Eucharist, we join Sharon Twinamasco to pray for her mother, the late Stella Tumhaire, on her second death anniversary today, that her soul may rest in peace, and she prays for all the faithful departed, that they may rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The mercy of God draws us closer to him so that he can restore our own identity as beloved children. Let us thank the Lord for this opportunity to stand in his presence and receive the graces that this day is bringing. We call to mind our failures and our sins. I confess to the Almighty God and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Our God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. This is our prayer for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God. The first reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, to this day, whenever Moses is read, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the minds of the Israelites. But when a man turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being changed into his likeness, from one decree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Therefore, having this, this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled only to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the likeness of God. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord. With ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Speed to God. Our responsorial psalm, the response will be, 
The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory, the glory of, of the, the Lord, Lord will dwell in our, in our land. land. I will hear what the Lord God speaks. He speaks of peace for his people and his faithful. His salvation is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Merciful love and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have kissed. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Response. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Also, the Lord will bestow his bounty, and our earth shall yield its increase. Justice will march before him and guide his steps on the way. Response. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. A new commandment I give to you, says the Lord, that you love one another even as I have loved you. The Lord be with you and with, with your you. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not kill. And whoever kills shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother shall be liable to the council. And whoever says, you fool, shall be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Make friends quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you will be put in prison. Truly, I say to you, you will never get out till you have paid the last penny. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the experience we are making in this time, especially that of putting on masks, they puts a veil in front of the other. It is rare that people really encounter each other. They cannot smile at each other. And of course, a veiled face will remain a face, but then the details of that face are missing. They are covered. St. Paul is speaking about a veil which is gradually being removed, especially on our spiritual journeys. The gospel is veiled, but the spirit continues to unveil it by drawing us closer to God so that we can see our image 
the image in which we are all made, the image that should manifest the goodness of God. The image that he has shown us, the true image of God, is Jesus Christ, who has removed the veil that once separated humanity from God. We have free access to God. We can encounter God face to face, so we would say, but that comes as a gradual process. When our, our face is being revealed, then we manifest the glory of God, the beauty of God. Each one of, of us is a manifestation of God's own beauty, of God's own glory. In the Gospel, Jesus tells us about people who always unveiled themselves by putting on wrong faces. The scribes and the Pharisees lived in such a way that what they portrayed outside was not the attitude of their heart. And he warns his disciples that their righteousness should exceed that of the scribes and the Pharisees. They should try as much as possible to let that what is in the heart correspond to what is manifested outside. And then Jesus makes another point that we should recognize in the other a brother or a sister. And with a brother or a sister, we cannot but always try to be reconciled. And a challenge is posed to us that whenever we are bringing our gifts to God, and remember that there is something to be clarified with a brother or a sister, we leave the offering there and first make peace, reconciliation. And this should be a lifestyle for all human beings wherever we are. In our imperfection, we shall always have something to clarify in front of the other. When we encounter each other as brothers and sisters, we recognize the dignity of each other, and then that reconciliation in a way restores who we are for one another. We ask the Lord always to hold this image of a brother and of a sister with us. Jesus adds something new on what we have always learned. We have learned of the commandments, but Jesus tells us, but I say to you, there is value added when we make our spiritual journeys as Christians. It is Jesus himself adding the value to our own lives. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Oh, no.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this our offering may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Semogrede, our apostolic administrator, the clergy, the religious, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Stella Tumhaire, for whom we pray in this Eucharist, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph Hamos, your spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Daniel Comboni, the glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus the Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
God is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go to glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. A blessed and a fruitful day to you all. Same to you, Father.